Welcome back. Today we're taking a look at the world of DJing. Let's dive in balls deep with Salvatore Ganacci at Tomorrowland. Oh wow, there's the drop. That is a powerful humpy hump action. This bloke is like, I don't record on my phone, I paint my memories. There's a tea bag spready to the crowd, bagging an audience of thousands. Now he's having a nap because the songs are automated. Yeah, now I know he makes brilliant music videos, still, it doesn't mean he should use his live gigs as an opportunity to catch up on sleep. Oh dear lord, fedora, check, tiny shorts, check, no shirt, check, comically large aviators, fucking check, techno hokey pokey, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, you just know he's free boiling, you know, you can tell. If you're an emerging DJ, then make a note that nothing gets the crowd throbbing like prolonged, sustained, uninvited eye contact in sinister lighting. Oh, pump it! Yes! Yes! Now we're talking jumpy, 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 ju- too much jumpy, overdid it, $20,000 worth of equipment bought by mum and dad, ruined. Ah, daytime TV, it's already a strange place, even without DJs. She's dancing, there is some form of music playing, but no one has plugged in the decks. There's no cords or cables anywhere. At least pretend. Don't show the decks. We know they're not fucking wireless. They're not. Oh, well, look, they're having fun. Or they're on drugs. Probably both. Yeah. Wedding DJs are usually an issue, like 80% of the time. This Sheila is looking forward to getting married. She's walking down the aisle. The DJ seems to be going too hard too soon, however. Judging by those looks, it can't be that bad. Okay, my ears are bleeding. Call off the wedding. He's not even touching the knobs and buttons. The least you could do for the average punter is touch your knobs and buttons, mate. His bandmate is only just discovering their work is fucking fraud. Okay, it would suck being a DJ and dealing with hammered people that want to touch your knobs, but you can't always blame them if the atmosphere is shit ass. Yeah, nah, yeah, let the crowd do all the work in this instance and go get drunk. This DJ has followed my advice. He He's definitely on the source. Somehow this gig has pushed him into smashing glass bottles against his asshole and ball sack. I'm assuming no one requested this. Maybe they did. Look, it's the way things have turned out. Is that sky blue from LMFAO? It might be. Careful with the bottles, mate. His bandmates in the background are trying to go with it. Put on Sandstorm and be done with this gig. This is probably the best tutorial I've seen online on how to become a DJ. It's honestly not about having an affluent upbringing and needing the best equipment. You can have no equipment and make it big in the industry. It's all about timing, attitude and imagination. See, he's already got one fan, two fans, three fans. We're witnessing the rise of a legend. Now he has a bandmate that does jack shit alongside him. Yeah, one bandmate, a few fans, and a whole lot of hanger honors. That's how you do it. Anyway, I can't review DJs without including DJ Khaled, so here he is, live streaming all night, lost at sea on a jet ski. Classic. The key is to make it. The key is to make it. The key is not to drive your jet ski in the dark. It's a profound art form overall. Ah, it is. 